Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. What are your preferences when choosing the NFT games that you want to get in? Do you want cute and colorful NFTs? What if you've seen a project that has the opportunity to take a lead in terms of a cross-chain platform? And what if you can also bridge or use your axes in this game and platform? Join me and discover another NFT game which is called Pepo Paradise. Pepo Paradise is a cross-chain virtual petaverse with a unique feed-to-earn mechanic in a sandbox environment. Anyone can breed and own cute pets that live on the blockchain. These pets drop tokens and various kinds of NFT rewards occasionally for the owners to earn and trade on the marketplace. So how did you find that game trailer? This Pepo Paradise is in its early beginning. So if you can see from the white paper, it's freshly done. If you will go through all of the information here, it has been created with top-notch quality and you can learn more. So the goal of Pepo Paradise is to unite pets across the metaverses. They strongly believe that with their experience in Fini Fugu, which is a game studio, so you can also research that, focusing on creating games related to pets make them successful for the past year so Fini Fugu is being led by Chris Lee so he is the director of the Fini Fugu Games Limited and if you will go through his background he's really experienced uh, he's located in Hong Kong but their team has diversity they are coming from different countries around the world uh, we will see that later so you will see his background as a game developer even UX designer his education focusing on arts in London so he has also background in mathematics and physics and e economics so they have been award-winning game studio best known for developing the casual mobile games their games have been featured on Google Play Store and Apple App Store globally in more than 150 countries in Best New Game, Game of the Day, and Editor's Choice, and others. And right now, they're coming up with a game that is inspired of Super Smash Brothers if you're playing Nintendo Switch. And they're also focusing on Animal Crossing. They are focusing on cross-platform chain, trying to collaborate with other IP partners and metaverses. They have experts in the area of art department and of course they have technical people so they also have team related to the marketing game design uh, development and animation they have been doing games since then and it's just a matter of putting all of their new ideas in the blockchain technology they are not just an average game shop but they have achieved a lot of awards so in london in prague macedonia los angeles berlin and of course hong kong and also guys in order to come up with something different if you're able to identify and resolve problems that we're seeing in the blockchain that can be very beneficial to attract more investors and attract partners that believes on the capability of the team right now i'm asking them about their partners and of course it is already confidential they mentioned some and unfortunately i cannot share it right now i've also endorsed them some of the venture capitals that i know and and we will see if this venture capitals will also partner with them so they want to focus on the lack of use cases for NFTs. Certain NFTs lack interactivity and supporting applications. They don't want you to just keep your NFTs under your collectibles. If these brands can partner with them, then you can also see your NFTs and use that in the Pepo Paradise. So the N-square problem, so typical scalability problem between end-to-end -end collaboration. So if you will go through their white paper, you will see a lot of collaboration ideas. Not just externally with other organizations, but even within. Because in the future, they will plan to achieve the DAO organization where they can also include their members in making the sessions and setting the rules and standards within their blockchain. On the side note, of course, Pepo Paradise wanted to have a platform where other NFTs can get in, partner with them, build more utilities within the game, and of course, collaborate with the ideas how can make 
sustainable economy in this space. So like what I mentioned, the vision is like this. So for example, you have your land within the Pepo Paradise. A certain NFT organization can partner with them and then transform these IPs into avatars within the Pepo Paradise and even partner with the metaverses. And then everyone will get benefits by doing so. So they are heavily focusing on the feed to earn which means that if you have a land wherein i think there will be some free lands for the early users and then you'll be able to buy your nfts as well from their marketplace you can feed them and care them and once you do that the bonding points will be captured so there are bonding threshold that can influence the tokens and the nfts that you can collect from the land if you have achieved higher bonding threshold actually you can get even nfts that you can hatch within the game so it's up to you if you want to use it or trade it so we talk about the benefits of getting into the pepo paradise and these are just the examples they focus on the win win not just win win but win 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 scenario for all of this persona so number one is for the players of course it will be additional return on nft investments based on the experience having engagement and interactive way to socialize with other people and the number two is nft ip partners of of course additional earnings for their nft holders increasing use cases for their nfts significantly reducing the integration workload and more exposure because that will be collaboration and the effect is also related to the promotion and then number three is metaverse partners so access to strong nft ips with only one integration point free game content that updates regularly as the ecosystem grows so these are all and for the pepo paradise so more significant influence in the nft space opportunities to incubate potential projects and large exposure audience pool and active users all right so for the tokenomics they are introducing a multi-token system so they have four tokens here the first one is ppp so this will be their governance token and these are the the usage of that and then the ppf token so this is the food token and then the ppc token so this will be the pepo coin and the other ones are the nfts that are tradable within the marketplace it could be the eggs decorations land and etc so it's good to note as well that they will be an avalanche and by doing so since they're focusing on cross platform chain they can also welcome connection to the solana or ethereum network as for the tokenomics as well for the feed to earn tokenomic so your pepos your characters you can feed them with a uh, pepo food and then once you feed them this the pepos can provide you nfts that, that you can hatch and this will be in the form of drops and you can trade that in the marketplace other things that can be an effect of this are the pepo coins that the organization can burn first to influence the value of the token and then you can also use that to mint and even you can use this tokens to build your own pepo land and then have your farming get again the pepo food so this is like an ecosystem within the pepo paradise so they also look at the game as a service wherein this will give them the revenue and economic stability mechanism so in in terms of the marketplace service fee uh naming your pepo um, land upgrades and other services hatching fee item crafting and others which are here and then through this mechanism they can also get some ppp tokens for treasury and then they can also have some burning mechanism as well here for the ppc token every organization and if you have a product you need to understand your competition and right now they're seeing that they're they are capable in having nft lands cross game nfts farming um, nft yielding staking your nft establish nft partnership market cap and roi while the other known projects that are not covering all of this are still known the my neighbor alice and mobox so this is the distribution of the 
tokens so the public sale price will be 0 0.04 Dollar and then the initial market cap will be at 390,000. All right, so for the roadmap, they have launched their website, they have prototype completed, so we, we can like discuss that briefly later from their website. Um, the seed and private round is still ongoing. If you want to invest here, of course, uh, we need to reach out to them. And then there will be Genesis Pepo pre sale, and luckily, they will be giving us two VIP pass. For, for the beginning of their game so make sure that you join the discord channel of NKC and then we will draw this uh, ticket pass for you guys so that we can give opportunity for our community members actually if you get that you will also get token drops once they have started distributing their tokens also you will have an opportunity to get whitelisted in buying the nfts of pepo paradise and participate in the closed beta so these are the other events and milestones that we'll be seeing in the next quarter so pepo land pre-sale marketplace release and then ido and public crown before the end of the half of this year actually guys they're also planning to release this in android and ios but initially this will be in the web so they will be using webgl technology for now so in the future so they will be having metaverse partnerships launchpad release voting and governance as we talk about the dao and then vr and ar integration and yeah that's it for for this and as you can see here so chris lee is their director he's showing his uh, link in here i've actually added him in linkedin and he accepted my request so guys it's also good to emphasize this that the first characters or brand that they will be releasing as part of the pepo characters will be called cheeks and these are the example of the nfts so this will be to kickstart the pepo ecosystem so this will be the genesis pepo and there will be 10,000 unique nfts how do you find this guys i, I really believe that these are cute and i like the colors it's colorful uh, i'm sure my wife will love to play this game if you want to collaborate with pepo paradise you can go to their website and go here in the collaboration and send them an email and as for the demo i'm not able to log in here but it will require white listing from them and at the same time you need an avalanche testnet and the way i get the avalanche testnet is just by going to the chainlist.org and then search for the avalanche and then you can connect your wallet and add this network so that when we have an opportunity to test the game we can do that but during our call he showed me how it is being played and it's already the, the prototype is already available so you can see here that here are your characters and you need to feed them in order to feed them it's either you buy pepo food or you have your own farm and then you will be able to combine and feed them and if the bonding level gets better means that they're happy with relation to their master then they will give you coins they will give you nfts eggs and you'll be able to get blueprint here uh once you've got that blueprint you can you know have your farm or you can have your house so depending on your instinct if the nft will have better value in the future so it's better to get those nfts and try to trade that in the future so guys how do you find this game so if you are really interested to in this don't forget to join their discord channel they will be giving away i think 20 whitelist spots for the early community members active ones so that you can buy your nft and at the same time get some opportunity in the early uh, release of the game also you can join to my discord channel because in the raffle giveaway channel there i will be drawing two vip ticket pass so that you can get free tokens in the future we see a lot of nft projects right now but the ones who can deliver the things through innovative ways with top quality and expertise can raise the top we humans are always challenging the status quo we keep on solving problems and with the passion the experience and the determination anything is possible so still the question is 
who could be the next sandbox or the central land leave your comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be updated with the new games that we are reviewing thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye